I have a box of quarters and we're gonna hunt this today. Well, I cut it open, but I haven't flipped it open to see if these are circulated or not. Well, 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 I have a box of brand new Mary Edward Walker coins. I have another box of quarters over here. So let me pull this one out of the way and we'll check that one. Um, I understand there's some uh, possible varieties to look for on these. So let's see what I'm going to do with these. All right, well, let me grab the other box and see what we got going on there. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay. I just scored this one up. Let's see what we got in this box. We have some circulated quarters. All right. And they are all over the place. Did I get a full box? I'm pretty sure I do have a full box because it looks like I have six across here. So I think they just shifted and shifted over. All right, well, let's get into this box and see what we got going on. Roll number six, got to the end here and I got a Homestead, 2015 Homestead. This one has some doubling in the window here. There's a double die reverse. If I do find out what number it is, I will let you know. All right, um, yeah, first find a double die, nice. Roll number eight, got a fun find here. We have a, another S minted quarter, San Francisco minted business strike, not intended for circulation. Oh, it's a 2020. I usually see uh, 2017s, 2016s, but uh, 2020 that is a new one. Uh, well, I don't know if this is a new one for me, but uh, it is a newer date. Very cool. Um, so yeah, that is a San Francisco business strike. Marsh Billings Rockefeller. That is a pretty cool find. I'm on roll 17 and we've come across another find here. It's been a little slow going, but we got a pretty cool find. This one is a double die reverse. This is double earring and this one is one of the nicer ones. Uh, pretty good. I'll look up which one it is and put it with the picture there, but that is another double die. Very cool. I made it to roll 21, and I've got another find here. Um, I've been finding these lately, and this one's in really nice shape. It's got some dirt on it, but if you look, this is an ungodly rust quarter, and this one has the T almost completely obliterated. If I turn it a little bit, you can see some of it. Um, you see this area here that kind of that's a little bit of a different um, shine to it, reflectivity. It's a little over here. That is, there was some grease on the die, and the grease got up into the T and filled up the T, so the T did not strike up. And this one is a Kansas. So uh, this is the, I guess the most well-known one, Kansas, and got V rust quarter. Cool. Um, I've seen these a bit more often lately, and that's been a little bit interesting because I used to not find them at all and now I'm seeing them about once every couple of hunts now so very interesting but uh pretty good shape still so that's cool all right we made it to roll 27 and I have a Wyoming here and there are all kinds of di double dies you can find in the little horn here on the horse's saddle here um, this one may have a double die there. It is minor. Um, if it is, I'm going to have to look that up and figure out if it is or not. It is a little bit dirty, but uh, that does count as a double die if it is one. We'll find out here shortly. You'll probably already see the picture and, and know well before I do. Roll 28, and I've got another San Francisco mini quarter. This one is... A little bit worse for wear, a little bit circulated. This is a 2018. Um, it's still pretty nice shape. This is the business strike, not a proof. So a circulating, not intended for circulation. So that is two San Francisco finds. Very nice. Roll 31. And we have come across another homestead 2015 with doubling in the window here. Very cool. 
There is more than 150 of these listed out there, and it's always fun to find, uh, to check the 2015s, because there's a ton of things to look for. Um, 2015 and 2016s, the Harper's Ferry as well. Roll 33, final coin in a roll was a Harper's Ferry, and wouldn't you know it, we have a little bit of doubling one of these windows. This one is a little bit more minor than some of the others, but that is definitely a fun find. I'm on to roll 40, and I've got this 2016. I found these from time to time. This one has a die chip on the top of the hat here. This is Cumberland Gap 2016. Um, but that is a pretty good sized die chip there. So that's cool. Um, and I'm going to put it up here somewhere. Boom. Roll 47. I got another homestead here with doubling in the window. This one is a really dirty one, but uh, it does have doubling in the windows here. So cool. That is another double die, which it wasn't so dirty, but you know, what are you going to do? These are circulated quarters. Well, we finished up the rolls, and real quick, I have a few more finds uh, here. These are quite common ones that I usually find at least one per hunt of, of these. And to save on video time, I, I've kind of stopped recording the finding these, and I'll just share them at the end if there's time. So right here, we have two Washington Cross into Delaware with die chips on the back of the hat. Uh, these are a little bit bigger than the small chips, so that's always nice. I had three Lowell's with the die chips in the bell tower. It was 2019. Uh, the die chips look like a ghost, so it's referred to as the ghost in the bell tower. Ooh. And, then <laughs> and then on the Theodore Roosevelt 2016's, uh, I usually find a die chip in the nose of the horse and or on the back of the hat. Uh, and this one does not have either. It has a die chip on the front of the hat, which is the probably the least common spot for a die chip on these. This is a nice size. I usually find one here in accordance with others, but this one only has it on the front of the hat, so that's interesting. Um, but anyways, that's these finds for this hunt. Let me grab the other finds and we'll break down and do a complete wrap up. Okay, so wrapping up here, we had those three die chips we just went over, and then we had one more on the top of the hat on this Cumberland Gap here, 2016. 2005, Kansas State Quarter with the In God We Trust Air strike through on the front. This one is in really nice shape, so finding it in a nice shape is is really cool. Usually they're a bit circulated, so this one might hold a little bit higher of a premium on the others. And the um, In God We Trust, I believe, goes for anywhere from five to twenty bucks, depending on uh, coin quality and how the strike through is on the coin. So that's always nicer to find a nicer condition one there. Um, so here we have our double die reverses in the windows on the Harper's Ferry, one of those, and then four on the windows of the Homestead. We had a double earring on the 2022 Maya Angelou, and then a possible Wyoming 2007 with possible doubling here. I have not verified this yet. So if this is not one, just uh, ignore this coin here. If it is, hey, that's one. Okay. <laughs> I haven't looked them up yet. I'll be looking that up after I record everything. And then the fun finds of the hunt are probably these two San Francisco minted quarters. These are lower mintage and they were only obtained from the mint in mint state rolls. So uh, just because that that's the only way you could get a hold of these. Most of the, you can get a hold of a mint state one for a good cheap price, and the circulated ones don't hold much value currently. Now, these are lower mintage than the West Point, uh, but the West Point, the only place you could get those from were from circulation, so it is harder to get the West Points in a nicer state than these. Um, at, one, at some point in the distant future, these might actually ha hold, a, hold a good premium on them because they are low mintage, but I couldn't even begin to guess how long that might take. All right, well, that is it for this hunt. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, helps me out, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And if you don't mind it again, uh, clicking on another video and watching through another video, I would definitely appreciate that. That would help me out tremendously. All right, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below.
Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.